Tom, thank you very much. Um, so with regard to, uh, to the uh, trip that we'll uh, be taking from here, uh, going on to, uh, to Saudi Arabia and to Egypt, uh, the purpose is, is multifold. It's, of course, to uh, push for an agreement on a ceasefire and the release of hostages. As you know, we're intensely engaged on that uh, every single day, and we're doing everything we can to push that forward and to uh, reach an agreement. But it is also to continue the conversations that we started um, back in January on exactly the question you raised, which is uh, post-conflict Gaza and the arrangements that will need to be made to provide for its governance, for its security, uh, for humanitarian assistance, uh, for its uh, redevelopment. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work since, uh, since January, uh, particularly with uh, our Arab partners, and we'll be pursuing those conversations, as well as discussing what is the right architecture for lasting regional peace. There too, uh, a lot of work has been ongoing um, in, um, in the last weeks uh, and last months. So that's exactly uh, what we'll uh, uh, be doing there. Um, beyond that, I can say we've also impressed upon Israel the imperative of having uh, a plan for Gaza uh, for when the conflict ends, which we hope uh, will be as soon as possible, consistent with Israel's needs to defend itself and make sure that October 7th can never happen again. Um, and uh, there, as you know, we put out many months ago a number of principles in, in Tokyo uh, regarding the, the future of Gaza. We stand by those principles. Uh, and the challenge now is to make sure that any plan for the future brings them to light. But that will be very much the focus of, uh, of uh, this visit. Now, um, at the same time, as you mentioned, uh, we continue to face a uh, horrific humanitarian situation for children, for women, for men uh, in, in Gaza. Uh, in the first instance, of course, this is something brought, uh, brought about by Hamas, by its actions on October 7th, and by its actions ever since. Uh, this could have, as I've said repeatedly, been over many months ago if Hamas had put down its, uh, its arms, stopped uh, hiding behind civilians, released the hostages, um, and the world has been uh, relatively silent on that ever since. But as we've said from day one, it is also absolutely incumbent on Israel, as it acts to defend itself and prevent October 7th from happening again, to make it a priority to protect civilians, those who are caught uh, in harm's way, and to provide for those who desperately need humanitarian assistance. Uh, and this is something that we've worked on one way or another virtually every day since. If you look at some of the uh, assessments that we're seeing now, um, they only underscore the urgency of making sure that this assistance is a priority and that it's sustained. Um, again, according to the most uh, respected measure of these things, 100% of the population in Gaza is at severe levels of acute food insecurity. That's the first time an entire population has been so classified. Um, we also see, again, uh, according to, in this case, the United Nations, 100%, the totality of the population, is in need of humanitarian assistance. Compare that to uh, Sudan, about 80% of the population there is in need of humanitarian assistance. Afghanistan, about 70%. So again, this only underscores uh, both the, uh, the urgency, the imperative of making this the priority. We've seen uh, positive actions in, um, in the last couple of weeks, including the opening of a new access point uh, that's allowing aid to go both uh, north and south. Um, the uh, increase uh, in the flow of traffic from Jordan into uh, Karem Shalom uh, the uh, beginnings of the establishment of a maritime corridor led by the United States uh, and uh, a number of other places where uh, there's been improvement. Uh, trucks getting to the north for the first time in a long time. But more, we need more, we need it to be sustained, and we need it to be a priority if uh, we're going to effectively address the needs of people. Uh, so that uh, also will be, remains very much a part, a central part uh, of, our, of our conversations. 